Previously, we featured Rokid's new AR Spatial Bundle, and then Rokid actually reached out wanting to sponsor a video so we can compare them to the original Joypack. So thanks to Rokid for sponsoring this episode, which also helps us fund our other videos here. For those who don't know, the AR Spatial Bundle includes their latest Max 2 AR glasses and the Station 2. And then we have the previous Joypack, which includes the first gen Max glasses and the original Station. Both include AR glasses and a pocket sidekick, which sort of acts as the brain. Starting with design, they clearly look different, but they still share a lot in common. Rokid has some of the most unique looking glasses in the AR space, and to this day, I still love the look of the OG Max glasses with this very round, bulbous design in that awesome metallic blue colorway. Now, the Max 2 feels like the next step in that evolution with a more sophisticated and refined design, or as I like to say, fancified. It now leans more towards traditional looking glasses, and same as the original, there's not a sharp corner in sight. It still has an organic look, but it's now thinner. As for construction and build quality, both feel great. They're mostly plastic, but don't feel cheap in any way, and it also keeps them light, with both weighing in at about 75 grams. Both also include blackout lenses, but the one on the original is a solid cover, while the Max 2s look like traditional sunglasses with these fake lenses, which makes them look less distracting. The nose pads look similar, but the Max 2s are bigger, wider, and slightly more flexible. The temples look identical. They have about the same wide range to suit just about every head size, but the Max 2s seem to have a bit less tension, and the ends are now soft and elastic. Both still have speakers, microphones, and the USB-C port on the end of the left temple, as well as buttons for brightness and volume, but the Max 2s feel a bit more sturdy and tactile. And one of my favorite features is still here. We have diopter adjustment dials, but I did notice that the Max 2s are slightly smoother and easier to use. Now the stations are very different. The original was pretty much a controller with Android TV packed inside. It has this round pebble-like shape with all your essential buttons. And at the bottom, we have two ports, USB-C to power or charge it, and micro HDMI to connect the glasses. Now the Station 2 is more rectangular, but with rounded corners, it looks like a phone. It's got this large capacitive touchpad on the front with gesture support. All the buttons are on the sides and both ports are now USB-C. To keep it cool, it has ventilation down here as well as on the back. It also comes with a handy protective case, nice. So both are completely different, but they're still really well made with a good weight to them and they feel great in hand. Let's talk specs. Both the Max and Max 2 glasses have essentially the same sensors. And that also goes for the displays. They're micro OLEDs with a 1920 by 1080 resolution per eye with up to 600 nits of brightness and six levels of control, a wide 50 degree field of view. And although technically each can max out at 120 Hertz, that's dependent on the connected device. But there is an upgrade on the Station 2, and it can now cover 108% of the sRGB color space with full 10-bit color depth. So the original Station specs were simply to power Android TV 12. With it, you get access to some of the most popular apps for streaming services, except for Netflix. Android TV is very simple, and it's an easy way to watch your favorite movies and shows. And paired with a controller, you could even do some cloud gaming on it with something like GeForce Now. But for those who want to go further, there's the Station 2. Spec-wise, it has upgrades across the board. First, it has a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor, which is three to five times faster. There's more RAM, storage, now it's Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6 instead of 5. And although both have the same 5,000 milliamp battery, the Station 2 now supports fast charging. But the big picture here is that both units have sensors that work together to provide motion tracking, spatial orientation, and gesture control. Now all that is to power their Yoda OS spatial system. And there is a lot you can do in here. When you first put them on, they'll walk you through the entire process with these little mini tutorials, which are really helpful and make the whole process much easier. You can navigate with either the trackpad's cursor mode in portrait or landscape or in laser mode for navigation. Then you can change and tweak your settings, which includes a new digital IPD adjustment, another very handy upgrade. And because Yoda OS is Android based, that means we get full access to the official Play Store where there's thousands of compatible apps along with all your favorites. Yes, that now includes Netflix. And if that's not enough, Rokid even has their own app store that has over 35 apps which are tailor-made for spatial experiences. 
Now, unlike Android TV, where you mostly use one app in full screen, with Yoda OS, you can actually multitask with up to three windows in 3D space. On here, you can rearrange them, resize them from narrow, wide, and a 21 by nine ultra wide. Also, each window has 3D settings, so with compatible media, you can get that immersive 3D experience. All this makes it great for streaming video, but what makes watching movies or shows on here awesome is their theater mode, where it shoots back the image and gives you this massive 300 inch screen that fills your view, just like, as the name implies, a theater. But unlike before, now it's a pinned screen in 3D space so you can look around. They also have a reading mode, which moves everything closer to your eyes, which can be really helpful, especially when it's so far back. And there's a sports mode, which as the name does not imply, can unpin the screen to follow your head movement. To keep it simple, the Max 1 and Max 2 are just about the same, but their bundled stations are very different. The original Joypack is like a portable theater to watch movies and shows through Android TV. Very simple and it just works. But if you want to go further, the AR Spatial Bundle with Yoda OS gives you access to tons of apps that you can multitask with, be it to watch stuff, play games, or get some work done, along with a ton of other handy features. Together, this bundle is a great entry point into spatial computing, a space that even Apple is trying to get into with their insanely expensive Apple Vision Pro. Also, if you're looking to pick up an AR spatial bundle and want to support us at the same time, Rokit was awesome enough to hook you guys up with a discount. So click the links in the description below and use our code to save $100 off your order. Thanks again to Rokit for that, but also for sponsoring this episode. And remember that supporting them helps support us. This is Sergio AM. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next box. If you like this video and want to help us out, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below so we can talk. Now, if you want to go further, subscribe and ding the bell to stay notified whenever we post a new video. You made it to the end, and I just want you to know that you are the reason we do what we do. This is Sergio AM, and I'll see you for the next box.